So, Sony is essentially finished. Sony's biggest third-party partner is now owned by Microsoft. Yep, Sony. We all know Sony has been doing abysmally. <laughs> we, you know, when it comes to making games, when it comes to everything, Sony's reputation has gone down the gutter. Despite every major YouTuber, every major media source, every major company saying how great Sony is, saying how amazing, you know, the PlayStation 5 is, and saying that you have to buy a PlayStation 5, and that's the only video game console in all of existence. But Microsoft thus made Call of Duty an Xbox exclusive. And of course, the title, oh, but Metaverse is the most important, but the real important thing is the current console battle, not wherever this Metaverse is, okay? It is the real battle against the PlayStation 5. Okay. Sony is basically a walking corpse at this moment. Yet, no matter how much the media sells for PlayStation, no matter how much all of these huge YouTubers, aka Ninja, aka, you know, SSS Sniper Wolf of the Wild, these other YouTubers with 20 million plus subscribers, telling you that the PlayStation 5 is the only console worth buying, and every other console completely sucks. Okay. Even though you're buying the worst console, a console of no games, a console of garbage games at at bat, a got a console the best seller well, the best sellers is a game that's gonna be poured to the Xbox anyways because Professor owns is owned by Microsoft and a reskin of Spider Man that a DLC of Spider Man, a glorified overpriced DLC of Spider Man, and of course, you have, of course, a remaster of a PS3 game. Throughout 2021, no major games have a least for the PS5. Okay? That were not also on Xbox. And now with Microsoft owning all of Activision, all of Blizzard, and all of King... That means Microsoft can has the reverence to pull Call of Duty off the PlayStation, Overwatch 2 off the PlayStation, Diablo off the PlayStation, Crash 5 off the PlayStation. Okay, even though Crash, let's talk about Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot was originally a PlayStation mascot is now owned by Microsoft. A PlayStation mascot is now a Microsoft mascot. Spiral the Dragon is now owned by Microsoft as well. Well, because Activision owned both IPs. <coughs> and both Crash Bandicoot and Spiral will now be owned by Microsoft. Which is something. Here. You know, and they all they own all, all of Blizzard's IPs, which again Blizzard has been Blizzard was probably bought up by someone anyways because of how fondering Blizzard is. And but the big ones is Call of Duty and Crash Bandicoot and Spyro are the big ones. Of course, Blizzard if they get to act together, that they can actually make good games. But they also bought Bethesda a year ago as well. Well, and basically, they bought all of Bethesda, which again, that was a long time coming because Bethesda and Microsoft are pretty close. Close. But now all of Bethesda is owned by Microsoft. I don't think that, I don't know if they'll buy any other companies because they don't really need any other companies. They just have, they own Call of Duty. <clears throat> okay. They own the Call of Duty series, so they don't really need to buy any other series. Series. Maybe buy an indie company or something like the Among Us creators. But other than that, you know, you have Call of Duty. Okay. Now you have Call of Duty, basically. <laughs> the and Microsoft, you know, we had been recovering since the Xbox One days. We all know those days. When Microsoft, you know, screwed up at E3. But now since they own all of these IPs, they bought all of these IPs and 
hopefully they actually do something with them and not make them multi-platform like Minecraft. Because Minecraft is the biggest, it's one of the other really big exclusives that Microsoft owns, but Microsoft still put it on the PlayStation, which was a big bad idea, it was a really bad idea because you aren't really promoting that, oh yeah, Microsoft is owned by us, buy it on our console. Okay, at least they're finally making Starfield exclusive to the console, and I highly doubt that Minecraft could be an Xbox Series X exclusive, because it's going to probably be connected to the Bedrock Edition, which is on all consoles. So, but yeah, Microsoft has soon published Fantasy as its Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, Call of Duty, and Candy Crush. And of course, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. So, Microsoft owns the Redwoods over Toes to Fantasy as well. Well, and other small IPs that, you know, Activism may own. 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 And. It is basically a giant L for Sony. That is basically it. Microsoft's biggest push in the gaming. It will become the third largest company behind Tenant and so- Tencent and Sony once the deal closes. So Microsoft will still be behind Sony in revenue. New. New. And Tencent as well as a Chinese gaming company. Ne. Ne. And. That's basically it about this video. Goodbye.